Grand Rising loved ones. Welcome back to another episode of Healing Wisdom with me, your favorite spiritual advisor, Empress Oracle. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about falling for potential because we're all guilty of it. Um, let me tell you right now, your girl that fell in love with so many people's potential, I probably could write a book about potential, but we're not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to help you guys to realize the mistakes that we are making by um, putting our energy into people or vessels who all they want to do is just take. Now, don't get me wrong. Everybody has potential. And the same way that we see the potential in ourselves is the same way that we see potential in others. And the same way that we want to believe in ourselves or we want other people to see us, to see our potential and, you know, take that risk, give put a chance out for us in order for us to achieve certain things is the same way that, you know, other people deserve that as well. However, there does become a point in time where you have to realize sometimes that potential just is not enough, especially when it comes to a relationship. There's a big, a very, 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 very vast difference between having potential, like say in a workplace and having potential in a relationship because for certain, for certain experiences, for certain jobs, you know, you may have all the potential to be great, but you may need OJT, on-the-job training, and that's understandable. However, when it comes to interpersonal relationships, even if we personally were not raised up in an environment with the ideal relationship dynamic that we would choose, everybody has a conscience and everybody knows right from wrong, and innately, everybody knows when they want something different than what they have. And you always know that if you are not happy in your circumstances or what you have, then you know to do the opposite. So therefore, if you are in a relationship with somebody and you know that they have potential to be, you know, a great husband, a great leader and everything, but they're not doing that with you, it's not that they're not having the opportunity because you can always make something out of anything. It's just that they don't want to. And sometimes we just have to be realistic, ladies and gentlemen, and realize that somebody can have all the potential in the world, but they're not going to use it if they if they don't want to, basically. It really does not matter the time. It does not matter the environment. It does not matter anything. People do what they want to do regardless. They can give you a million and one excuses. They can have all the potential in the world. When they find that person for them or when they get in that circumstance or that situation that makes them feel motivated to live up to that potential or to use it, then they will. So when they're not doing it with you, that is your cue. Maybe I need to start you know, pulling my energy back and walking away instead of wasting your time with potential that is being unused and untapped. Okay, we're getting too old for that. We're getting too old for that. Empaths are most prone to falling in love with people's potential just because, you know, we can see people's hearts and we can see and we can feel people's hearts instead of paying attention to their actions. And I'm going to tell you right now, before I realized that I was an empath, I used to always see people, regardless of what situation they were in, they could be a hardened, seasoned criminal, stealing left and right and stuff, but I'd be like, oh, but he has a good heart. You know, or they could be a trifling hoe, sleep with everybody's husbands and boyfriend. I'm like, oh, but she has a good heart. She just misunderstood. But at the end of the day, what you have to realize is the same way that you can see inside of somebody, empaths, is the same way that they are aware of what they have inside of themselves. It may be untapped, yes, but they know that it's there. And once they come across somebody who is an empath or is highly sensitive, such as yourselves, even if they were not aware of that potential inside of them, the fact that they were drawn to you, the fact that they were attracted to you means that they see it inside of you and they will become aware of it inside of themselves. Now, where it becomes unused and a waste of time is once they are made aware of it because they like attracts like. So they are gravitated to the good in you. So once they are gravitated to you, if they're still doing you dirty, if they're still not using their potential, if they're not motivated by seeing you, if they're not inspired by seeing you act from the heart and being kind, then you know that that potential is just going to be lie dormant or go to waste. Or maybe you are just not the one to help them unlock that potential. Or maybe they just don't want to. We have to realize that a lot of people choose to, you know, be lazy. A lot of people feel like it's too much work to change themselves. It's too much work to tap into the potential that they know that they have. Those people just tend to, you know, settle in life. 
Sometimes they prefer the drama. Sometimes they prefer the quick life and stuff because it's easier. You know, quick, fast, easy come, easy go. However, for highly sensitive people like myself and a lot of you out there, that's not ideal for us. And things like that, situations like that can tend to drain our energy. That's not healthy for us. And we need to be aware of it. All right. Instead of just lying and deluding, you can see somebody's heart all you want. But if they're not using it, trust and believe you're wasting your time. All right. We have to learn the truth of when people show you who they are, believe them, regardless of you seeing their potential. Right. Who they represent themselves to be, regardless of the heart they have. Who they show you to be, believe that. That will save us all. Take it from me who has gotten my heart broken 1,199,999 million trillion times. Once people show you who they are, believe them. Whether it's a friend, whether it's a family member, whether it's a co-worker, anybody. All right? Because I'm going to tell you, even if somebody is brought up in a certain environment, the same way that children learn People can learn. You're never too old to learn. So the same way a child can grow up in a dramatic, abusive environment, and if you take them out of that environment and put them into a new environment and they observe people being kinder and stuff, eventually they will assimilate themselves to those behaviors. It goes with adults as well. It goes with animals as well, right? So the fact that they're not doing that means that they just don't want to. Especially when we come from less than favorable circumstances, you know, we tend to be more idealistic in relationships, which may cause us to overlook potential red flags from people, you know? And that is just something that we really have to stop doing because now in this day and age, we're missing out on a lot because the way evolution is going, the way society is going, we need the people who have the potential to step up. No longer can we sit here, no longer can we dilly-dally and just say, okay, I'm gonna do it tomorrow, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. We can't. The time is now. We need the leaders. It's a new world order coming up. And we need the people who have the passion, who have the potential and are using it. We need the people who are displaying the white flags, not the red flags. Because if we look around, we see where that is taking us. Our world is going to the fucking hell in a handbasket. So we need to stop ignoring those. And, and it doesn't matter if you came from a situation, if you came from an abusive household, you know how it felt growing up in that trauma. You know how it felt every day. You wanting to do certain things and you couldn't. You had potential, but say your father was verbally abusive telling you you couldn't do it. Or your mom or your stepmom was telling you you'll never be this, you'll never be that. But you knew your potential. The same way that you were able to get out of those conditions or know that you wanted better for yourself is the same way that everybody has that opportunity to do the same thing. Unless they um, are mentally handicapped in any kind of way. And most of the time, they're not, right? Anybody who is in an unfavorable condition should not get comfortable with that, all right? Using your potential is how you get out of those unfavorable circumstances and those conditions instead of becoming a stereotype. Don't be comfortable with just potential, hoping that one day. That's why, I don't know, I saw a meme where they say, me forget, me getting ready to forgive my man for the one million some, some time, and the girl is putting on a clown suit. Don't be that clown. At some point in time, we have to be realistic with ourselves. And what better time to be realistic with ourselves than now? Hmm? Exactly. I didn't think, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. We have to understand that some people choose not to live up to their potential. They would rather use it as a crutch or a bargaining tool. And when I say that, some people, if they didn't have their sob story on why they couldn't do something, they wouldn't have anything interesting to go off of. They wouldn't have anything to tell anybody. If they were to fix themselves, they feel as though they would just, you know, blur into the background. Uh, some people feel like they don't have enough personality to carry that. They feel like if they tap into that potential, they'll be just like everybody else, successful and boring, right? Who do that? Who believes that? You'd be surprised. A lot of people like to talk about their potential. There's a lot of men, because I used to fall for that all the time, honey. Let me tell you something. When I used to date them, them dope boys and everything else, some XYZs and all that stuff, you know, I would, t I would sit there and I would talk to them and I'd be like, oh my God, he's so smart. If he was just to use 
you know, this mindset, he'd be an excellent businessman if he was just to go legitimate, but they would have every excuse in the book on why they could not be a legitimate businessman and why they would rather do nefarious and illegal activities. And really at the end of the day, the only reason why they didn't want to do it is because they were lazy. Because as we get older, we realize that time is something that truly is linear. Time passes by so quickly. What we think, when we hear, okay, a degree is going to take us five years, or it's going to take us three years to put that drug money into a business and have it up and running and stuff. People, they don't want to do it. They don't want to take that time. However, they'd rather, you know, go about things in a less than honorable way, wasting and using that potential to get that quick fix. And they rather use as a crutch the fact that they have a record so they can't. But nowadays, how many entrepreneurs do we have? How many people, how many successful people do we have with past? That's not an excuse anymore. So what do you have to go off of? Hmm? What is your reasoning now? A lot of people, that's the glamour. That's the razzle-dazzle that they have for themselves, right? Is that potential and why they can't use it, the backstory of it. We have to stop being people's fools. We have to understand at potential that's not being used is just a waste of space, time, and person. And that only thing in life that we have that we cannot get back is time. Stop wasting it on people who are even wasting it on themselves. Somebody can have all the potential in the world, but if they're not acting on it or working towards it, it's absolutely useless, as I said. As I said, people waste years waiting on potential. People waste years. Women waste years waiting on their man to act right, waiting on their boyfriend to become their husband, having five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten kids because potentially he'd make a great husband, right? But because they're willing to settle for that, once they're done, they take that good potential and they're going to use it on somebody else who has stronger boundaries. That's not what we're trying to do anymore. We have to realize that. We have to realize the potential that we have is needed and is necessary right now in this world. That is what is going to make the change. Acting on the potential. Not falling in love with the potential, but acting on it. Taking baby steps, all right? No, the world was not built in a day. Use that potential for good. There's so many people out here that would rather do nefarious and illegal activities. They have so much potential to be our future leaders in the world. But because they're not willing to put forth the effort and stuff, everything is falling by the wayside. And now we have to stop that. The time is now. Stop falling in love with the potential. If you cannot motivate yourself or the people around you to use that potential, then they're not the people for you. And that's what we need to understand, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Now, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and leave you, but don't forget to go ahead and check me out on YouTube where I have all of my healing wisdom videos for you, Empress Oracle 333. Also, too, you may see me in this again. That's because I have a very busy week, so I'll be recording double videos, all right? So you get to get more of this fabulous look. With that being said, you guys, be blessed and have a wonderful day, and I love you. And don't forget what I said. Stop falling in love with potential, okay? Be blessed.